I had no expectation for this. This Nest Madagascar oil. We're on a date, you guys, and I am acting very finicky. And he doesn't like it. I don't know why this thing is cropping in so much, you guys. I really can't be bothered. I did not sign up to be a camera girl, but I guess I have to be. Hey, besties, welcome back to another vlog. Hopefully my mic is on. Test, test, test. <laughs> I have no idea. Welcome back to another vlog. Happy Sunday, besties. I hope you all are doing well. The question for you guys, how much blush is too much blush? And don't answer that. Like, answer that, but don't answer because I'm still gonna put more blush. I don't know why. Like, I put blush on and then it looks like I don't have any blush on. And I'm like, I know I blushed and I know I highlighted. This is such a pretty blush. I can't even talk. This is Hey Jealousy by the Sephora brand. You guys, it's really good. And the color payoff is extremely pigmented. It's very, very nice. It's like a, it kind of scares you when you look at it like, wait, hold on. It kind of scares you when you look at it like that, but it's really good. I love blush and I will do my makeup and all of a sudden like I can't see the blush and I'm like, I gotta be able to see the blush. I don't know why. I just love blush. And I will tell you this, I have to be able to also see the highlights. So today we are going to brunch. What else is new? But it's really dead everywhere. You know what I mean? Like there's no people out. I think everybody is at home. Everybody is doing like some type of diet or dry January or there's a lot of stuff going on people are doing, but I still have to get outside. Like I have things to do. I wanna shop. I've been looking for new places for brunch. So every Sunday, or what have you we've been finding like new brunch spots we always do it every january we go for like new brunch spots to just find new places there's so many places here uh in la to try out and i'm the creature of habit i go to the same places because i like what i like and i want to know what i'm going to get and i don't want to settle for anything less so i end up going back and forth to the same restaurants all the time oh my god are you guys even able to hear me hold on a second let me check the mic i'll come right back because if i'm recording all this and it can't even be heard i'm gonna be upset so stay right there i'll be right back hold on Okay, I'm back and the mic is working. Oh my god, you don't know how many videos I have done, you guys, and the mic has been on. I'll show you right here. You see this little blue light? It'll show the blue light on. And I tell you the truth, I go to export the video and I'm like, can't hear nothing. I don't know what happened. So I wanted to make sure before I kept talking, because you know I could talk, that it was really on. So anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so we're trying like new places for brunch. The place we're gonna go to today, we have gone there before, but I believe only once. And it was before um, the pandemic, I believe. So I wanted to see if anything has changed because I do wanna go in that area today just to see if they have any shopping. Um, I was gonna try and check out the Real Real, but I really don't know if they're open on today and they used to have a Chanel in that area and the last time I was there it was closed and then a friend of mine told me that they closed it down completely so hopefully it's not because I like to pop in there and just see if they have anything that's exciting and I don't want to go um you know over to Rodell in Beverly Hills because it, it's always I'm always over there so like I said I, I'm all about trying new stuff something different something new because I really am a creature of habit and I feel like I miss a lot of things because I always do what I've always done you can't grow if you always do what you always done so that's that on that I don't know if I'm wearing this this is a one-piece shirt off the shoulder it's from um what's that place called uh naked wardrobe no not naked wardrobe J Lux label and um it's really nice i thought it had like things for you to put your hands in but it doesn't but the sleeves are really long i got it in a size medium it fits well it has a um a connector like it's a bodysuit so but i don't think i'm gonna wear this because it's freezing cold outside it's like 33 degrees and i have no time to be cold i told you when i'm cold i'm uncomfortable and i don't like being uncomfortable so i don't like being cold so therefore oh yes and I'm gonna have a latte and I'm gonna try a matcha today um, and I don't need any more coffee but coffee makes me happy so I feel you should do it makes you happy so on top of that I'm gonna go in because I don't want the highlight to just sit on my face so I always spray the beauty blender and then you tap it on your hands first so you don't go in and just you know totally mess up your makeup uh, you blot 
I really am ready for a new hairstyle. I, but this is so easy. And you don't understand how much money I'm saving by doing my own hair and like not really getting it done. You know, I just take it down. I told you the last time I cut it myself. I did pretty well, by the way. I got home, I looked in my big mirror and actually it was pretty good. I had a straight line going across. I didn't have to cut anything else. So like I said, I cut about a good six inches off and my ends are like, okay, straight and narrow right now. And I'm saving so much money. I even did my own color. I use box color hair dye, but I use a good kind and it seems to be okay. Oh, and I wanted to share with you guys, um, hold on, they're not in here, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to share with you guys that I did go to Sephora. I vlogged it, I think. Of course, you know, we had to pop into Sephora because what's a trip of shopping without coming to Sephora? I wanted to check out I believe it's called Vigamore. I could be making that up. Vigamore? I don't know. But I heard that this was good for hair shedding, hair thickening, fuller, healthier hair. You'll see it as soon as 90 days. And I'm thinking I'm gonna try it. If you guys have ever tried this, definitely let me know. I'm really, really curious. And my good friend told me about um, some more products from Glow Recipe. So I'm here to get some more products thank you to brand so yeah i'm gonna try this i'll keep you guys posted there's another brand in here that i want to look at but yeah this is definitely for that so yeah you know when i hear something i gotta try it so it said 90 days i'm gonna give it three months and see i'll keep you posted i'll let you know dang they have a whole line i don't even know where to start okay I did some research online and I did some research on TikTok. Listen, pick somebody else, okay? TikTok and Google is where I'm going. Oh, what's the difference between the two? Oh, that's anti-gray hair serum. Okay, and what's the difference between this one? Hmm. Okay, let's read a little bit more. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, and I got my... Straight, just stick to one thing at a time. I got my nails done. I tried to told you guys I was gonna try something different and try something new, so I went with these with the squiggly line, and I kept them long. And one of them has already broke, so I gotta go back in and see Mr. D himself because they broke. But anyways, when I went into Sephora, I was telling you about my hair, and I picked up this grow serum, and this is by Vagamore, I believe, Vagamore, Vagamore, whatever, grow hair serum. Um, and I'm trying it out for 30 days. It's a 90 day thing where it says you try it out for 90 days, see how you like it. It should help with fullness, growth, uh, less strands, less shedding, anything like that, that you're having, this is supposed to help and combat it. And it said, try it for 90 days. It said it's a hair serum. So I was thinking it was like gonna be like an oil that you just put on your hair, right? Well, it is, but it's very watery. So. I was like, what's this consistency? Because this is not oil. This is like water, you guys. So what you do, or when my hair is not done, is that I take it and I just part it and I'll put some here, put some here, put some here, put some here. Part the back, do the same thing. Just like take the dropper through, right? Without touching the um, actual scalp. And then... I just massage it in a little bit, but I thought it was gonna be like oil, but it was like water. So it made my hair like bufanda, like boo boo. I was like, okay, there's a reversion. I think I made that word up a go with it. You know when your hair reverts? I have very curly hair. I love straight hair. I'm not a curly hair girl because I had to wear my hair like that all growing up and I was sick of it. So I wanted straight hair. So I'm probably not gonna wear this on the days that my hair are straight or which is only like two days out of the week. Other than that, I'm working out, it's reverted anyway. So I did pick this up. I will be back to share with you in 30 days if I could see anything from it. 90 days, I'm really gonna give it the 90 days and see. I also received, oh my God, I have so much stuff to share with you guys. I also received this stuff from Maylie's. This is a body smoothing serum. <laughs> oh my God, it looks like this. They sent me like a whole line, you guys. They sent me like a whole line to try out to put on my body and to see if it's going to help with smoothing, put it on your body, massage it in circular motions twice a day. It helps with smoothness, fine lines, wrinkles, whatever. I'll try it. Okay. I am all about prevention over here. So I'm definitely going to try it. I'll be back and let you know how it does. I have started the Nutrafol vitamins. It was saying take four a day. I have no time for that. That's way too many pills to be taken a day at one time. So I am taking two a day and I will let you know, I will say, I'll put something. Did I share with you guys my hair falling out let me show you let me show you oh on my phone oh, I, every time I see it I feel like crying and I'm like I don't even know if I I don't even know if I want to I don't even know if I want to show you because 
every time I see it I feel like crying because it was just shedding so bad so but I am showing you this just in case somebody else is going through it and you can see look at that wait thing hello okay I'm picking it up in my hands that is my hair shedding and falling out like what the heck is going on so whoever okay this is a real deal that is my hair shedding and falling out now let me say this because when i told the lady this she was like oh my gosh is that happening every time you uh uh do your hair and i was like oh no 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 I had a ponytail in and I had it in and I hadn't combed my hair for like three weeks. Not like fully took the comb and raked it through. So I had washed it, conditioned it, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, that was the hair that it came out. So that, and she goes, well, you know, you're supposed to lose like anywhere from 30 to some light strands a day. So if you hadn't combed it out and this and that, that could be normal. So, but I'm just saying, it was a lot for me. It scared me. I'm sharing with you. I'm on my hair growth journey, hair fullness journey. And then my mom had the nerve to shade me because I was like, yeah, my hair is not really full and it's not real thick and blah 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 and she was like and what makes you think it should be that way and I go well I've uh, and she said you've never had full thick thick hair you've always had you've always had very soft um you know not fine but more you know just normal hair you never had this big lush thick lavish hair she said you had long hair but you never had like all these big amazing strands of hair and I was like oh and I was like, <laughs> she was like, maybe when you took your inches out, you thought that was your hair, but it wasn't. And boo, this is your hair. <laughs> and I was like, oh. So I let her feel it. And she was like, I always remembered your hair being like this. Whatever, mom, whatever. Anyways, you guys, I don't know how we got there. But yeah, so that's what's going on with me. And then another thing on health and fitness. Let me show you what I received from this other company. Hold on. Oh, God. Okay, another thing I received. This is just like show and tell because I'm trying a lot of stuff. And if anybody's on the journey with me and I find something that really, really works, I want to be able to share it with you so you can try it too. So, Force Factor sent this over. Thank you so much, Force Factor. They sent this over. This is a uh, pre-workout that you take so you know I'm in the gym Monday through Friday most days and um, not on the weekend rarely ever on the weekend I used to be in every Saturday but I gave that life up so this is called total beats it's for focus endurance strength and energy and I got it in the flavor fruit punch so I'm gonna take this tomorrow I cannot wait to see how it is I used to take pre -bi uh, prebiotics I am taking so many prebiotics right now as well that's a whole nother video we'll be talking about it but on the self-care journey this is the stuff I'm gonna be bringing to you sharing with you what I'm trying what's working Working, what's not working we all know that fragrance uh, things hair care skin care all of it is subjective what it might do for me it may not do for you and what it do for you it may not do for me but I'm still gonna share the tea and spill the tea so I cannot wait to take this tomorrow before I work out just to see what it does I will say this I have always taken a uh, pre-workout but the ones that I were t the ones that I was taking I was taking on pre-pandemic and everything was fine and then when I tried to take that same thing after I don't know it gave me like anxiety it made my heart race and then I started taking the um what was I taking remember those drinks I was doing C clock what are they called celsius <sighs> I was taking the Celsius, but I didn't know it had like that much caffeine in it. So I would have two cups of coffee, then I'd take a Celsius, and I'd go to the gym, and I was like, oh my god, like I feel like I'm on fire. What in the world is going on? And my friend was like, okay, look, dude, if you're going to take the coffee, the Celsius, you can't take the coffee. You got to pick one or the other, and you have to spread them out, and you have to eat between times. So I was like, oh my gosh. So now I'm like, okay, okay, fine, fine. So now I gave up the Celsius. That's why you don't see me post about them anymore, because I'm like, okay, wait, 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 one of you had to go so it wasn't bad it's just that I would rather give those up than give my coffee up because I'm not giving my coffee up for nobody <laughs> I love coffee so and I've already had like two cups today so you see where this is going and why I had to give up the you know why I had to give up the Celsius but yeah hopefully this won't do that and I'm definitely gonna eat like a rice cake in between it says take one scoop with eight ounces between eight and ten ounces of cold water or a beverage of your choice and how many times we're taking this the amount Amount of liquid okay oh one servings per day so yeah I would only take it once per day and I'm probably only gonna have Bluetooth. Bluetooth connected I'm so sick of her and I'm only gonna probably do one cup of coffee if I know that I'm gonna take this but anyways you guys I've rattled and talked enough and 
I've shared with you. Oh, and I did do a campaign with Nordstrom's and I did pick up this new fragrance from Jo Malone. This is Rose Amber and it's pretty. It's really pretty. They had three of them there when I was in store playing with them. They had a Rose Magnolia, which was kind of okay. And then they had a Rose Blush or Blush Rose. There was three of them there. One of them smelled very, very, uh, just not my style. I don't want to say, you know, dated or what have you, but it just wasn't my vibe. And then the other one I think would be beautiful around spring and summer. It just wasn't, you know, what I wanted to get. I believe, yeah, this one here, Rose Magnolia. I believe that's it. This one is good. And they also have a candle to go with it as well. I've been in store just playing with fragrances. And you guys were telling me on Instagram, I was asking for what's the best vanilla fragrance. And I will tell you the truth. You want to know what everybody said? Everybody said Baby Cat. Hold on. Let me look it up. I don't even know what it looks like. Today, if we go out, I want to see Baby Cat. That name is not even sexy. Oh, Baby Cat. Okay, it's by YSL Black Opium Cat Collector. Wait, 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 wait. This is not Baby Cat. I don't know if this is what they're talking about. Oh, wait, it says Black Opium Baby Cat. Okay, you guys, I have no idea. Somebody sound off in the comment section. Is Baby Cat by YSL? And is it a Black Opium Flanker? That's what this is saying it is. I have no idea if, if that to be true, but let me know. Is this Baby Cat? Is this a fragrance you guys were talking about on Instagram when I kept asking you? Because I want to go try it. You should see how many people were saying this is their favorite vanilla fragrance. Now, you know, I'm a black opium original kind of gal, but I don't think, if I were to be honest, I don't think I've ever tried this. And it says that it's a warm, spicy, fruity, patchouli, coffee, vanilla, balsamic, almond. It's a white floral. It's woody. Uh, what are the notes inside of it? Pear, orange blossom, pink pepper, coffee. I like the coffee. Bitter almond. Love that. Uh, it says it has licorice in it. Jasmine, patchouli, coffee, cashmere, and cedar. Okay, so I want to get a whiff of this. I will get a whiff of this, and I will be back to let you know. Oh, I'm excited. I'm in the hunt for a new fragrance. Not really, but I'm in the hunt for trying new fragrances, smelling them. See, what, and see what's, you know, chopping my hide or picking me to come out and get it you guys did I put highlight on already or not and it's really time to go and I don't know what I'm wearing but I'm gonna be very casual very casual very that's enough highlight girl <sighs> just pick somebody else I think it's enough highlight but whatever yeah I just don't like when when any powders just sit on your face you know what I mean like we have no time for that I just needed to be Mm. always do your hand first oh it was smart because there was a quite a bit on there always do your hands first okay seriously we're leaving um that's it i'll see you guys when we get there uh yeah that i think that's everything i wanted to share with you well i didn't even know i was going to share with you but yeah that's everything that i wanted to share with you this right here is the charlotte tilbury setting spray no creasing no melting no fading this stuff is really good you guys it really is i use this for my makeup all the time today's lip combo is penelope pink liner with a uh, cork lip liner on top of that liner along with this here which is a Dior lip oil this shade is in the color rosewood I really like it um, it gives a little bit of color not a whole lot the color actually from this lip gloss is actually coming from the Penelope pink lip pencil I just put the pencil there because I don't have time for the lipstick to be taken all day and it was closest to me so I put that on the highlight that I use hyper real go hyper real glow a girl I can't even talk hyper real glow by Mac and you can probably find this at Marshalls I kid you not like TJ Maxx Marshalls um I bought this actually from Mac and then when I went in Marshalls I was mad because I seen it there and I was like hold up and it was for a fraction of the price so maybe you will get it um better than I did oh and this fragrance I didn't share it with you guys so I have the notes with me because I don't want to talk about it if I don't have the notes with me oh yes Gucci Guilty Intense this right here, remember I told you guys I got into the Uber and the Uber was chasing me down, asking me like, where is this fragrance and how can he find it? And I brought him down a sample. This is really good too. Definitely beast uh, projection, siage, definitely in your face, grab your attention, hold it tight. It's a hot, heavy, woody, spicy, um, cause some disturbance of the peace, fruity, woody, lychee, plum, patchouli, vanilla is sexy. It's sexy and I, oh God. I'm wear this no no and I don't and I don't know if I want to wear it this is more of a nighttime scent for me I would reach for this and wear this more at nighttime because he was picking us up we were on a date night me and my guy and when I got in the car I had mixed that with Baccarat Rouge 540 and I had let him smell Baccarat and he was like no it's not that and then I let him smell a sample of that and he was like that's what it is I want to pick that up for my lady 
So I gave him a sample if he picked it up for his lady or not. I don't know. And I told him to hit the subscribe button. Just like I'm telling you right now. Take a 2.5. Hit the subscribe. Come over say hi on Instagram. And I'm going to see you at the next stop. Okay. Bye. <laughs>
cut them down, file them, and do all that. He was like, it's going to be like you're getting your nails done all over again. So see if you can make it until the next visit and stop cleaning your house because I love cleaning. It's very therapeutic for me. So I get in the zone. I put the music on, I get in the zone, and I start cleaning like nobody's business. And then that's how I broke that nail. But these look better because at least they're just plain. The um, I had like a design on them before when I was holding the perfume bottles or just talking. It was very distracting and I didn't like it. So yes, I did change it. Um, this is a color I like, oh. Oh, there it is, okay. You see that? It's like a pearl essence, but it's chrome. It's a chrome finish, whatever. Anyways, another fragrance I wanna show you guys about, or not really a fragrance. This one here, this Nest thing. I need you to focus, like what are you doing with your life? This Nest Madagascar oil, the other night I got out of the shower and I was damp, you know, not fully dry. Took this, opened it up, it has a dabber. I believe that's what it's called. Put this in the palm of my hand. I dropped like a few drops like that, right? In the palm of my hand. And then I just rubbed it until it warmed in the center of my palms. Put this all over my body and it was so, so good. I smelled myself all night long. If you, you know, are not into perfumes, you're not into fragrances, maybe it's too strong, maybe you don't like the alcohol or what have you, try an oil and this one is absolutely amazing. It's vanilla and matches with loads of my fragrances. It will not break the bank. It is, it is, I don't know people's finances, okay? It might be pricey for some, or but they have it in oils, they have it in a ball. I believe they have it like in a roller ball, like this, like in a travel size, but not from this brand, from this brand. But I'm just showing you the roller ball. I believe it comes like this. So check out Sephora. I am going to link it if I can find it, but I would definitely recommend checking this out. It was so good and I have to come back and I have a confession because I tell you guys, I'm always gonna tell you what I'm feeling. So remember when this came out, this was by Rihanna. This was the Fenty Butter Drop that came out. This was the Whip Cinnamon Shimmer, oh girl, Whip Cinnamon Shimmering Whip Body Oil. And I told you guys, I don't like smelling like food, and I don't, and I don't like smelling like cakes and pies and all that extra stuff because I like to smell sexy. So recently here, more so than ever, I have been gousing this all over my body and it's so good it's so good it has a beautiful shimmer it glistens the body it moisturizes. it does all the things it leaves a beautiful shine my hands are so ashy I cannot stay moisturized in this cold weather but yeah it gives like a nice glisten can you see that thing it gives like a nice shimmering glisten to your skin and it does smell Oh my God, it smells so good. But I will say this, I don't, I'm feeling it right now because it's cold, the holidays are just passing. I'm probably feeling it. In the summer, I am not gonna wanna smell like this because you guys, I kid you not, this really smells like somebody's pie, somebody's baking. It smells like a good sweet cookie, something I would have like with my coffee. It smells like a scone. Okay, I have to go because Joyce Myers is coming on right now and I cannot be late. I love watching her in the morning. I think she comes on TBN or TBS. I have no idea, but yeah, this is it. Everything I just shared with you, I'm going to link. This right here, if you can, definitely try and get your hands on it. This right here too, I will have to give it up to the Fenty. It's getting me, I'm spraying it or using it, like I said, like crazy. And this here, if you can find it, let me know. This is all I have left and I'm so saddened because this is a beautiful fragrance and it's so sexy and it's perfect for spring, summer. I mean, I wear it year round, I love it. I mean, I spray it whenever I feel like it, but um, I really do love it. So yeah, I'm gonna link all the fragrances I mentioned in the vlog, throughout the vlog and this video. So that's why I don't want you to skip the vlogs because even even though they're vlogs, I'm still gonna talk about fragrances all the time because it's what I do. Every day I put on a fragrance. I love this bottle. I told you guys I wore this to brunch the other day. I'm spraying it like crazy. I did mix it with Carmina here and this is another one that I gotta slow down on. But I really love this. This fragrance just makes me happy. So. I will be spraying it. I think in the next vlog, I'm gonna try and do a get ready with me makeup from start to finish. A few of you have asked for that and I'm excited because I gotta get better at doing the makeup. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm having so much fun. Okay, you guys, seriously, you have to go. Joyce is calling me. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you besties in the next one. Bye.